What's important to understand is that marketers know that we have to work hard to get people to opt in. We also have to not inundate you or berate you or manipulate you to opt in. Instead, we have to maybe influence you to opt in. It's a very subtle nuance. I uh, have created brand experiences and advised brands on messaging for years. I've been very good at getting brands and ad, or consumers rather, to say yes. Um, they will say yes to consumer experiences. They will say yes to a cool piece of content. They might even say yes to a cool, piece of, a cool pair of sneakers. Very innovative way of using some music, but that's a different story, not to get distracted. Perhaps I'm good at it because I intuitively understand what you all just demonstrated, that you like something unique and just for you. Ultimately, I've learned that if you have access to what you like or what you think is unique, you just might try it. And if you try it and you like it, you just might share it. In today's world, that's becoming harder because, of course, what used to be exclusive is now relatively uh, accessible and democratized because of social media and digital media. So what used to be very cool and unique is now a little bit harder to position that way. So what we have is an opportunity for the medium to make a difference on influencing people to say yes. There is a professor in Arizona, and he was not mine, so I may botch his name, but he's Dr. Uh, Robert Cialdini. And Dr. Cialdini wrote a book called The Art of Persuasion. Not persuasion, persuasion. And the book asserts that if you can prep someone's mind for a message, subliminally, that by the time they actually receive the message, they might accept it, and they will say yes. He also says that if you pay attention to something, if you notice something, that your mind's already somewhat deemed it as important. Why does this matter? So a couple years ago, I started a company called Visual. It basically takes vacant storefront windows, puts advertising in it, and then through a few mobile applications, it takes that same adver advertisement and puts it on your mobile device. Mm-hmm, yep, that's what we do. If you're walking down the street, take Soho, go down Broadway, for instance, you'll notice an abundance of vacancies. So many vacancies, in fact, you'll probably say, what happened to, well, is that, am I in the right neighborhood? What block am I on, right? But if you're me, you kind of look at this as a great opportunity to connect with people. You see, if you're walking down the street and you don't see anything anymore, you've missed those, verb those visual cues that might prompt you to go into the store to touch it, feel it, or try it on. Because once it's in your hands, you're more apt to take it home with you. Is that right? Well, um, people walk down the street all the time incessantly on their telephone, right? Walking, talking, texting, taking photographs. But every now and again, they might look up. And when they look up, they're making a decision if they want to know more about whatever they're seeing. Let's take, for instance, a opportunity. Cool, empty window, substantial in size, great neighborhood, great visibility. Now, let's put an ad in it. Good creative, simple messaging, nice call to action. You stop and stare, and then what? You move on. And when you move on, what do you do? You assume the position, walking, talking, texting, and talking on your phone, maybe taking a few tele uh, photographs. But now, the difference being is if you've seen that visual cue, you're now uh, opt to receive another message. If we delivered another message to you, you might be open to saying yes to it. So let's say it's you, for instance, and you're walking down the street. If you, are, you saw an ad about a block ago, and you're now looking for something, you're like, oh, let me go and do a quick Google search. You open up your browser, and then an ad pops up. It looks familiar. Why does it look familiar? Well, maybe it's because you know the brand and you're familiar with it and you kind of like it, or it might be because you saw it about a block a half and ago in the window. Either way, you're prone and your mind is prepped for you to opt in. Instead of potentially going into a store, you might just touch that ad. And now that you've touched it, it's the same thing as going into a store, touching it, feeling it, 
trying it on, and maybe walking out with it. Have a look. In this video, we're basically showing you um, the experience that you would see on a mobile ad. Right? You open up your browser, you take a look, do a quick search, ad comes up, touch it, it takes you through to the content. Hopefully it's cool enough for you to participate. What's really the big takeaway here is not how great of a business model Visual is, although I think it's pretty crafty and I'm proud of it myself, but as humans, we are susceptible to a message, an idea, an image. So it is our job as marketers to be responsible and consider the visual, audible, and clickable cues that we give people because we know that you just may opt in and say yes. Thank you.